What is going on my peoples? Welcome back to the channel and today while I was wandering the internet I end up in the good old website KG Hobby once again and I stumble upon this little gem I want to call it because this thing is amazing our beloved company <laughs> I don't know if it's beloved uh, the company that put out the Mark 6 gantry one six scale real gantry uh that i made a video uh, a few days ago uh tys toys has decided to put out a mark 5 technical suitcase that transformed they have gone where hot toys didn't want it to go because they didn't need to they were selling the figures that, that figure just released and the price on ebay is beyond ridiculous so yeah they didn't need to go here to to sell that figure that would have taken uh more time and effort and that would increase severely the price of the figure and that would have pissed everybody off and that would have been no good so tys toys took matters onto their own hands and they're like hmm i'm going to cover this ground that hot toy left open for us and I have to say, I am really pleased with this product. As you can see here, it's the suitcase Mark V, but it's completely open right when uh, Tony kicked it and he grabbed into these two things. So the forearms that were covered ought to be shoulder and then he pulled it up, extended his arms and it just the suit, uh, surrounded him. And I just simply love this thing for some reason. I am a sucker for accessories. And this is, even though I am not a super uh, hardcore Iron Man fan, as you guys have heard me say like a thousand times by now, I absolutely love this accessory and I would love to have it in my collection. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you the heads up Matt, right now and I'll tell you that I already pre-ordered this sucker. So... And one of the coolest thing and probably the coolest thing that this thing does it is as you can see here is transformable and you can lay it flat like that on the ground how amazing is that it looks like Scorponok from uh, Transformers but as you guys can see here these pictures are not the best pictures but this is all we have we have to work with this so it has a lot of detail, a lot of minute details here. It has like little screws here. It has just so detail everywhere. You can see on this, uh, maybe we can find a better picture. For that. Like, like here, this is like the four arms. And over here, uh, the legs as well. You have the arc reactor on the front. It looks like the suitcase on the outside. Obviously, this is the faceplate with uh, what it looks to be here. Uh, some vertebrae for its column and a chest piece is it is really really good for a third uh for a third party company i believe this um product is really really good what they're doing with it um just look how busy it is i am <laughs> i'm a sucker for that kind of stuff look at how it has like wires inside here it has all these little details more details over here it's just like the studios com Complex inside here and obviously uh, then he pulled it up and put it onto himself that is so so nice um, uh, when it comes to the paint job we all know that hot toys are the best when it comes to paint job because they even though they do like pristine and clean suits you can always see like subtle scuffs here and just as much there and it's just a very very solid uh, details that it in make the the figure that much better when it comes to other companies they don't tend to do that because that takes time it takes ability and they just go for a completely 100 percent uh clean and pristine look which um you would say is a good thing but actually it's not it, when you have all these little scuffs here and there it actually adds a lot to the figures but yeah um this is not gonna be on the quality of hot toy uh, but um this is an accessory uh and it's i think it's a really neat neat accessory and the paint job at least on this 
prototype we have here in front of us, it doesn't look that bad at all. But I was ready to take the plunge and take the risk uh, and pre-order this because this, as you guys know, the bottom of my collection is air quotes, Iron Man, uh, Baseman, and this is going to be really, really nicely displayed on the bottom there in a corner somewhere. It's going to look fantastic and I cannot wait to get it in hand to, to see how that's going to be and how far off from uh, Hot Toys products they are. But look at this. Look how busy that is. It has details on the back here. It just has details everywhere and it's articulated. Really, really cool from TYS Toys. Pretty, pretty nice. It looks like I'm advertising this thing. <laughs> and I'm not. I just advertise for free for people. I, I like to... When I'm happy with a product, I don't even have this on my hand, but I, I really, I'm really digging this product just by these pictures. Uh, I like to share it with other people, and I'm like, hey, have you been to this restaurant? It is amazing. The food is there. Amazing. You should totally go. And people's like, are they paying you for that? No, they're not paying me. I just want you to enjoy as much as I did. Same with this uh, stuff like this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I get it. And it's like, this is a complete waste of time and money. This is hot garbage and I'm gonna throw it in the trash even though I spend $76 for this and probably they're gonna throw some shipping on top of that so I don't know how much this guy is gonna be in total I put $15 down as a deposit to pre-order it it's gonna be released and bottom quarter of uh, 2018 on the first one of 2019 uh who knows how true to his worth this company is i just put 15 dollars in there because i thought it was a super neat accessory and i don't want to have it on my collection maybe you guys uh feel the same maybe some of you got the mark uh five recently and uh, really looking forward to something like this it would be really nice to have like the complete uh, closed suitcase this version maybe you can just post some iron man on top of it with um some of you guys i've seen they have uh, like a custom made iron man with the um, with the track suit that would be amazing that you can post him like standing on top of it or i think if you bend him and try to hold those things it's not gonna look as good but if you can just post him standing uh on the center there is gonna look somehow cool or just on the side it doesn't really matter uh, that's what i want to do with it i just want to throw it on tony's basement there in a corner just looking amazing just it doesn't matter how bad this thing is it's just so busy it's gonna look amazing no matter what in my opinion i put one for pre-order to see what's going to go on with that stuff a little something i wanted to mention here is when you come down to the description it says that this is made by resin and metal and the suitcase is transformer and highly modelized possibly possible to put in different posts so yeah guys um i want to make it like a little note here when china tells you that it is by made by resin and metal it comes to your mind like oh there is die cast on this i am willing to bet that there is 0.0001% of die cast in this. When they say metal in China, they probably mean the screws they're holding this thing together are metal. It has happened to me about a motorcycle for my collection. It said it was die cast. It said big bold letters die cast on the outside. That motorcycle has nothing die cast. The only thing die cast in that motorcycle is the screws holding it together. That's it. Nothing else. And that is false advertisement in my opinion. So if you, I want to give you the heads up because they like to do that. So if you're going to pre-order this, just bear in mind that it's most likely nothing made out of metal in this transformable suitcase. It's not going to happen. If you're ordering anything from China and it says die cast, unless it's Hot Toys, I would highly recommend you to lower your expectations. And it was not just that motorcycle. Another um, 
Uh, one of the arc reactors that I have on my desk, like Iron Man's arc reactor, he said it was die cast. There's nothing made out of die cast. Zero. Like, like again, like the screws holding it together, they're probably die cast or not even just regular metal. Uh, so yeah, guys, just bear that in mind. Don't be fooled by this description. This is probably, most likely, not made out of any sort of metal. It's probably made out of resin plastic or something like that so yeah bear that in mind so yeah guys put me on the comments below would you be interested in something like this these third party companies are not to be trusted you only get products from hot toys because they know you know the quality they put out is top notch and they're not gonna fail you or you are um or you are ready to take the plunge as I did and just put $15 to pre-order. Uh, this little nifty uh, accessory is going to look, possibly, it's going to look really cool on your collection. I'm hoping that is the case. Put on the comments below. Would you be interested in this or you don't give a rat behind? <laughs> Try not to be a stranger on this channel. Be around.